Good evening and welcome to our Chambers Award Special Night. It's my privilege to welcome you to this celebration of commitment and achievement within the Ministry of Catholic Education. The awards were established in 2002 in consultation with Tom Doolan and since 2003 have honoured his memory. Tonight we recognise and acknowledge people who are continuing to live out his legacy as individuals who are making a difference every day in so many ways. This successful applicant to receive the Doshamus Award in the primary teacher category this year is from St Andrews Catholic College, Paula Lohman. For me, receiving the Doshamus Primary Teacher Award was a great honour and I was very humbled to receive it. Um, teaching for me is all about uh, building strong rapport with students and making sure that they lift the lid on their limitations and they know just how far they, they can succeed. She is an inspiring teacher, the way she takes each of those children under her wing. Everybody feels very much part of her class family and year level family. She's inspiring to other teachers and just makes school fun. Paula is, she's got a huge heart. Um, she's great with parents. She's a wonderful teacher in the classroom, very innovative and uh, as a team member, second to none. It is my great pleasure to announce the recipient for the 2018 De Seamus Award Secondary Teacher category is David Christopher. I'm very humbled um, in receiving the De Seamus Secondary Award. Uh, we have so many fantastic teachers out there, but uh, I'm very uh, excited and um, happy to accept it on behalf of all of those great teachers. So I nominated Dave because he is just inspiring the way he interacts with teenagers. He's got such a wonderful way with them. These wonderful teachers don't expect any recognition, but it's lovely to see them in the limelight. The 2018 winner of the DeChambers Award in the Early Years Career category is Summer Tombs. I feel very honoured that all the hard work has in some way paid off. Uh, also, I guess it's seeing that the children that I teach make improvements every day and just seeing their love for learning. It's always difficult just to choose a few people to nominate for an award ceremony like this when we have so many people who make such a valuable contribution in our Old Hock School community. It is my pleasure to announce the recipient for the 2018 De Seamus Award Leadership, Lee McMaster. Well, it's certainly humbling and uh, a great privilege to receive the De Seamus Leadership Award in uh, 2018. My final year at the college, uh, I've been here for seven years now at St Andrews and uh, you know I've worked very hard uh, both at the college and at the system level to uh, to ensure that uh, the leadership that I'm providing is um, empowering for, for others. And uh, in my final year, um, it means a lot to me to receive a great honour like this. Leadership is a really tough job and, and quite often unrecognised and a lonely job. So the opportunity to honour Lee McMaster this year for the hard work that he's done at St Andrews Catholic College is an absolute privilege. Um, there's lots of things that Lee does to build community and, and make our college a better place for the students and for the staff. So um, nominating him this year was very easy and he's, he's a, a well worthy recipient of that award. It is my pleasure to announce the recipient of the 2018 Chambers Award for School Officer is Joan Caboni. I've been in Old for 28 years and I've enjoyed every single one of them. It makes me feel very excited and honoured and I'm very humbled and I feel like I'm representing all my colleagues. Joan has been a long-term staff member at Old Hock. She has committed herself to sharing her faith and sharing her knowledge in our school centre for learning, our Mercy Centre for Learning. She's also deeply involved in the parish ministry team in the musical ministry. Both Summer and Joan are very recipient award winners at um, this year's ceremony. We are very, very proud of them at Old Hock School. Both are very um, conscientious, um, hard-working, dedicated educators within our school community. It is with pleasure that I announce this year's Shamus Volunteer Supporter Award recipient is Mrs. Hanley from St Francis Xavier. 
it's an absolute honour, a huge surprise because I've never thought of anything like that. It's, um, it's so enjoyable what I do and what I get out of it, seeing the, the children so excited about doing things that uh, it's an absolute honour to get that, yes. Nelia in the last five years has been a consistent and regular volunteer in our school and to have that recognised has just been absolutely outstanding. Nelia has been able to make a difference in our school because she has generously given up so much of her time. Her energy and enthusiasm which she shares with the kids and that is reciprocated is done in a very unassuming way. So our children adore her coming into the school. Um, she has been able to make a difference in their lives simply by being somebody there that they can rely on, that they feel happy to share their learning with. And she has been able to encourage them to have that love of learning. It is my pleasure to announce this year's The Chamus Lifelong Contribution Award to Mrs. Tessa Condon. I feel very humble and honoured to have received this because there are so many teachers out there who just deserve, they work so hard and deserve this award. It's a job I have absolutely loved doing and I love all the children in my care and I've always tried to do it to the best of my ability. I couldn't think of anybody more deserving for a lifelong, uh, a lifelong career of um, inspiring the minds of our children. So congratulations Tessa, I'm so proud of you and I'm so proud to have worked with you. St Teresa's is a small rural school in Ravenshoe and we are absolutely delighted that Tessa has been recognised for her lifelong contribution not just to our little school but to the community and its people.